Es ist schön, dass ihr da seid. Und schön, dass auch die viele Leute da sind, die ihren Weg gefunden haben, von sehr weit her, um hier ein neues Leben aufzubauen. Und die uns auch zeigen, sie werden kommen, denn das Recht auf Bewegungsfreiheit ist ein elementares Recht, ein Menschenrecht. Und wir werden zeigen, dass wir sie unterstützen auf dem Weg. Und wir werden zeigen und wir werden deutlich machen, dass jeder Versuch, diese Bewegungsfreiheit zu hindern, für Menschen, die aus Armut, Hunger und Not kommen und jeglicher anderen Art von einer schlechten Welt entfliehen wollen, dass der einzige Weg, sie daran zu hindern, der Tod ist. Sie fliehen über das Mittelmeer, sie kommen über ganz normale Wege, sie kommen mit dem Auto überall her, hier und bauen sich eine neue Welt auf. Und viele davon haben auch auf dem Oranienplatz in Berlin und vielen anderen Orten politisch als Akteure gewirkt. Und deswegen freuen wir uns sehr, dass Jennifer vom International Women's Space heute hier ist und zu uns spricht. We are here and we will fight. Freedom of movement is everybody's right. When will enough be enough? I say now. The debate about migration in Germany, in Europe, is no longer rational. To close borders inland, to close the way through the Mediterranean, to send refugees back to Turkey, to North Africa, what is this for an idea? People do or don't have a right of asylum in Europe. We can only say that racism and hate speeches have taken over the rationality and the morals of this European continent. People who happened to get stuck in Libya are being enslaved, tortured. Women who end up there are raped, forced into prostitution. And I am not speaking of something I read somewhere. I am speaking about women who managed to survive such tortures and have told us their stories personally. Close their escape routes. This is a dead sentence to people. Only in 2018, around 1,500 human beings died in this dangerous sea crossing. We from the international women's space support the initiative of the Zeebrücke. We support the courage of all those who stand up, up against atrocities, such as letting people die for trying to continue alive. People who die to wish for a better future for themselves. We will ta also take the opportunity to speak about those who entered Germany and were sent to these anchor and reception centers. In the name of bringing direction and control of migration, People are being detained like criminals in those centers. They cannot move freely. Their asylum processes are already being analyzed faster than ever. No one's stories count. Everybody should go, live, die somewhere else. Psychological torture in these camps, including constant threats of deportation, is the order of the day. From Bambak and El Vuangen, We are getting testimonies of women denouncing the ever-growing collaboration between the camp security and the police. They tell us about an atmosphere of complete insecurity. For the police, it seems to be clear that every person who lives in refugee camp is a criminal or a potential criminal. Two weeks ago, our friend was arrested, taken to the police station forced to strip naked, searched naked by policemen. And I repeat, policemen are not police women, and locked up naked for some hours. All this without any concrete reason. Proof is that she was later released. This is not an isolated fact. This tells the story of many other women who, fa who are facing the racist and sexist asylum system. After three long weeks, Germany discussed nothing else but the migrant situation. No migrant was invited to any public debate. How can it 
be that we are the center, the focus of a debate, and are not invited to speak for ourselves or for the reasons that we flee. The last three weeks in Germany was a horror show. The interior minister Seehofer threatened to resign, then changed his mind. Then his party got into an agreement with the other coalition political parties for what? What do they want more? To decide how they can get rid of us? They won't get rid of us because we are here and we will stay. And we are here. And we are here because you destroyed our lands. The industrialized countries must admit once and for all that by making profit from weapon export, by making profit from exploitation of raw material in non-industrialized countries, and so on, they are co-responsible for the forced migration, which terrifies them. Our presence here is a reminder of their past and their present violence. More than ever, we, we need to get organized for the right to stay, for the right to move freely, for the right to live in safe and human conditions. And again, I will say, we are here and we will fight. Freedom of movement is everybody's right.